for an eddy swell to formulate, it's gotta be at least above 20 feet. They don't happen that often. That's why we haven't seen an eddy every year. They gotta be big storms, you know, the biggest of the year, the biggest of the decade. It's, it's a tough call when to run it, but 90% of the people in the contest wanted it at its biggest, and that's, you know, proper, proper YMA with a few closeout sets during the day. That's when we wanna see it run. got to be a swell out of the north, northwest, or the northwest, or the west, northwest. They usually formulate over in Japan, off the coast of Japan, and, and, and come across the, the Pacific Ocean for about, for about a week before they even hit the Hawaiian Island. These swells have the whole North Pacific to groom themselves, so the really windy, nasty part that's generating the swell it still stays fairly far away from us, you know, you want it like a thousand miles away from you. So these forerunner waves and this energy parts away from the storm and organizes and gets cleaner before it hits us. And then it starts feeling the symmetry of the ocean floor. It has a big sand channel that slopes off into really deep water and a point that goes out. So there's not a lot of area for waves to break. So that kind of really focuses the energy to getting pulled into that shallow piece of reef at the point, and that's why it breaks there. 